Welcome to my channel. I'm Scott and if you want to catch my newest video, I post one every day at 8 a.m. In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of valuing solo stock by analyzing their financial statements so we can figure out if it's a buy or a sell. Electrica Mechanica is a Canadian designer and manufacturer of electric vehicles. It was established in 2015. The company's flagship car is the single seat, three wheeled electric vehicle called the Solo. Intermechanica, a subsidiary of Electrica Mechanica, has been building specialty replica sports cars for 61 years. Let's get started with the model. This is a small cap company, 841 million market cap. They're trading at 1081 a share and they have 78 million shares outstanding. Let's look at the financials. The way you value a company, you estimate the future free cash flows and then you discount that number back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. So you can see the company has negative free cash flow every year. Net income is the profit and loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. You also see they have negative net income every year. And the reason is, is because they're pre-revenue. They really haven't sold any cars yet. The total revenue and cost of revenue is under $1 million. So they're not doing much business. They're still trying to build out their product line. Most of their expenses are on operating expenses. That's 30 million. So each year they have negative net income. This is the statement of cash flows. And on top is operating cash flow. And the way you calculate free cash flow, you take operating cash flow minus capital expenditures. So they obviously have negative free cash flow every year because they're still pre-revenue. They don't really have any debt. You can see they did issue two and a half million in 2017 and 71,000 in the trailing 12 months, but they repaid back almost all their debt. They are issuing a lot of stock, 11 million in 2017, 31 million in 2018, 15 million in 2019, and 102 million in the trailing 12 months. So if you hold the stock, you're getting diluted every time they issue common stock but they need the money to grow the business. Let's look at a capital structure, $1 million of debt, $81 million of equity. And their WAC, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity is 15%. And that's a discount rate we're gonna to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four, that's 1.4 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of $773 million. We divide that by 78 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of $994. They're trading at $1081, so they're trading at a 9% premium. It's a sell according to the model. Simply, Wall Street values the company at $1142, so they're saying it's undervalued. They're saying it's a buy. So it's so hard to value a company that's pre-revenue. My future free cash flow estimate was based off of what other analysts said. Then I adjusted the analyst estimate based off of my analysis looking through the company's financials. You could see the stock was pretty flat since it IPO'd in 2018, but it's really been driven up the past few weeks, mainly because of this big EV craze. If you invested $10,000 when this company IPO'd, you'd have $45,000 today. That's a 350% return on investment. This is a picture of someone driving a Solo. It's a hybrid between a motorcycle and a car. It has three wheels, it's a one-seater, but it's similar to a car where you're all enclosed, unlike a motorcycle. It started making Solo cars in August 2020, and it actually produced and sold six cars. They currently have four retail locations, two in Southern California, one in Arizona, and one in Portland. They plan to open up six more locations, four in California, two in Arizona. People are going to these locations and ordering cars, and the cars should be shipped in 2021. The company is developing the Tofino, an all-electric two-seater roadster. The price for the Solo is $18,500, and the top speed for the Solo is 80 miles per hour, and it will go from zero to 60 in about 10 seconds. And the car will go 100 miles on one battery, and it takes four hours to charge the battery. This is a blurb from one of their reports. With respect to the Solo, we face strong competition from established automobile manufacturers, including manufacturers of EVs such as the Tesla Model 3, the Chevy Bolt, and the Nissan Leaf. Let's look at their financial ratios. The average PE for the market is 14.7, the median is 14.8. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. 
They have negative net income, so they have a negative PE. The average price of sales is 5.8, the median is 2.2, price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue over shares outstanding. They're pre-revenue, so they have a really high price to sales ratio. The average price to book is 4.8, the median is 2.3, price to book is stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. They're at 10.4, so they're doing worse than the median and average. Equity is assets minus liabilities on the balance sheet. They don't really have any interest on their debt. Average ROE is 11%, the median is 12%. ROE is net income over equity. They have negative net income, so they have a negative ROE. Average current ratio is 1.9, the median is 1.3. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. They're at 28.5 because they have a ton of cash on their balance sheet. So the current assets are 101 million of cash, 7 million of prepaid expenses, and 1.4 million of inventory. All this cash on their balance sheet is from a secondary stock offering. Their trailing 12 month free cash flow was negative 17 million. So if they stay at that rate, they can last six years with the cash on their balance sheet. Of course, I expect their expenses to be much higher as they ramp up production. The best way to look at ratios to compare them to similar companies, I've done videos on Ford, Leoto, Neo, Tesla, Workhorse, and Xpeng, all in the same industry as Solo. And if Solo has a number in green, they're better than the average. If they have a number in red, they're worse than the average. So they're better in PE because the average is so bad. They have a worse price to sales ratio. They do have a positive price to book ratio because a bunch of companies in this industry have negative book value, so they have a negative price to book. Their current ratio is the highest of all the companies. ROE is a lot worse. They almost have no debt. They're financing their business on equity, where it seems like other companies are financing their business on debt. And their market cap is the smallest of all the companies at 841 million. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 9% premium. Their ratios and financials, of course, look bad because they haven't brought in any revenue yet. Let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.